Hello, Stephen Long here, and thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Gaston's Great Podcast. This week's episode is part two of a two-part recording in an effort to keep each episode a little shorter. If you've not heard part one from last week, I would encourage you to go back and listen to that part first. Thanks again, and we hope you enjoy it. Um, Kathleen, is there anything that I haven't that I haven't asked that I should have asked? And before we finish, we'll make sure our listeners know where to find them more information out about and where they can go to find about events coming up or anything like that. But anything I, have, I haven't asked yet that I should have before we mm-hmm. shift gears here to some Gaston County questions? Well, I've got one for you, okay? Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we um, – so, uh, what do you think is your – what's your favorite art form? I'm just curious. What is my yes. favorite art what's form? What's your favorite art form? My favorite art – form is probably um it's probably music um so i'm a little behind you growing up so i'm a you know a teenager in the 80s oh that was some good stuff <laughs> yeah so um me and my group my group of friends and i music was just such a big now i am not music inclined at all so when i when i'm talking about music it's just the enjoyment of it and my group of friends and i were music was just such a big part of everything we did you know and it was more class what i would call most people would probably call classic rock now things like uh, led zeppelin pink floyd um early u2 um you know um rush oh uh, my gosh rush boy rush is its own category of differing opinions rush is its own category strong opinions on rush yeah and i've seen rush a few times in concert 28 actually um (laughs) Just a few. So, I mean, I think that when you put, <laughs> put being put on the spot, like that's what comes to mind. And it's interesting because, um, you know, my our kids too, they know all of, I mean, I forced them to listen to my music, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they're in like, yeah. you know, my vehicle. Of course, most of the time, even I'll even force them to listen to podcasts too now. So, you know, learning from podcasting, that's another um, hearing. I, 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 if I'm in yeah. the, if I'm yeah. in the vehicle or running, I'm always listening to a podcast almost. So, 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 that, so that I guess that auditory is a good way to um, answer that, I guess. So that, yeah, that would probably yeah, to be, summarize it. Yeah, yeah and, it's, and it makes you feel great when you listen to oh, your sure. favorite song, sure. right? You Absolutely. Know, brings you joy. It's or, takes, a way for, or takes you back to a moment. Yes, right. Yeah. You know, or you, you're you're bonding with your kids over that song. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. whether they're 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 jamming out of like, oh, you know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> either yeah, way, yeah. it creates a you know fun experience, a fun memory. You yeah. know, so it, it's both reminiscing to the old, finding a little joy, you know, and then connecting with the future too. And so art, art is which music is definitely art, um, gives us that opportunity. It, it connects us. It's it's hugely sure. powerful, right? I mean, it can completely take you from the worst day of your life to you know feeling like I have hope, right? <laughs> which is is um, you know gigantic power. Um, and so our our thought is as a nonprofit is that you know these people work really hard, you know, really hard to make that happen to give people that gift. Uh, and it, it there's a there's a dirty word in the art industry and it is exposure people will come to so many different artists and be like oh well you know you paint this huge wall that takes you hours upon hours and wears your body out you know but um you know i'm gonna pay you in exposure for that right i mean i'm gonna put it on social media but i'm not gonna give you any money for all <laughs> the effort that you put into this right uh, and and so I think that you know if we if we hold value in art we see the beautiful things that it bring, brings us in our lives and you know brings our families and our communities and so on and so forth um, we have to we have to financially support that we have to pay the artists for the really hard work that they put in to make that happen for us um, and so that's what we hope to you know continue you know, to facilitate I, again <laughs> so, I'm totally ignorant of yeah. all that kind of stuff being a, especially yeah. being an engineer by education but. <laughs> It's, I would imagine that that whole landscape has changed so much in the last 20 years, oh, especially yeah. like when, say, music specifically, the digital world and how uh, music is distributed now. I mean, oh, it, it would hard. just seem, yeah, yeah it, it would just people. seem yeah. completely different. And then, well, frankly, any type of art that you can just instantaneously see it online or whatever, it would just be, it just seems like that would be some, one of those things that has changed dramatically compared to, you know, some other things that we, that we deal with in our lives. It just seems it's changing all the time. Yeah. 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 They had, I had this, um, gosh, I hope I can remember her name now. I'm trying to think But when I was in nursing school, 
Uh, and this, man, her advice, gosh, I think it was Ms. Glover, if I remember correctly, at Gaston College. Um, and she was our one of our um, preceptors. She helped us when we were in the hospital kind of learn what to do. And, and she was a nurse um, back in the time where nurses wore capes. Nurses were superheroes. I mean, yeah. I personally claim we're superheroes, but... <laughs> Well, sure. But, you know, she was that way. And she she gave us all, you know, one of the most valuable lessons um, we will ever receive. Be flexible, right? Be flexible. You know, it, life life is going to change in a second, right? It, there's there's all kinds of variables constantly moving around us all the time. Um, so we, we can't, you know, be rigid and be able to, you know, make our way through all that. Yeah, so, yeah. so flexibility is hugely important, you know, in anything that you do in life. Um, and I try to, you know, impart that in, in all the little facets of the things I do in this That's world, interesting. you know, try to, try to continue to stay flexible. Yeah. I do a um, personal, we do a word or concept here at the company every year, but also do a personal word for the year. I'm a big fan of a gentleman named uh, John Gordon. That's one of his things. And, um, my word for 2024 is flexible. <gasps> no, <laughs> that's That was crazy. not planned. That wow. Was, that was, that Confluence was, of yeah, the universe. Yeah, that was not, that was not planned. And I also share what? a quote on, at the end of every episode. And uh, my quote's related to a topic you've already talked about, too. So that was not planned either. So anyway, you'll, I think you'll find that interesting when oh, we get to that. When we get to that. So, um, so Kathleen, listen, I appreciate you sharing this again. Don't, I'll make sure we you know share or more. We'll swing back to make sure everybody understands and knows how to get in touch with your organization or find out more. And, um, but we do have a um, section of questions, and you've been in Gaston County long enough. That these okay. are, and, and, oh, we're, and we're going to, oh boy. <laughs> we're going to call these this week. We're going to call this the collaborative speed round of questions. You like how I did that, Naomi? All right. So these are very serious. This is what all your family, friends, uh, your, your the artists that you work with. This is what they really want to know about you. Oh, oh, okay. And I'm, right. the look on your face, I think she's completely unprepared for this. I'm sure I'm not. Or I'm sure I'm completely. <laughs> uh. Kathleen, what is your favorite Tony's ice cream flavor? Oh, okay. I actually have that. Yeah, the okay. Rocky Road. Yeah. Rocky Road. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we've had some guests recently who have never been to Tony's, which. Um, oh, Tony's is the bomb, shocking. man. So good. Best ice cream on the planet. Do what? I saw. Her. Yeah, I saw. She she emailed us and said she went after the episode. That was um, so good. Sun Drop or Cheer Wine? Oh, okay. So Cherry Lemon Sun Drop. Okay, that's a, that's actually a pretty common. Yep. diversion from the question that's yep, good yeah how about fav- favorite local restaurant oh so tough so there's a lot there's a lot of good ones that are like brand brand new uh but i'm going to try to lean into something that's been hanging around for a hot minute oh let's see hmm. gosh so many so many oh that is a tough question i may say you know because i like food a lot <laughs> I exercise a bunch, and and uh, so you, you know, can. <laughs> food is like one of my favorite things on this planet. So there's there's so many. I'm trying to think of one that's there's a time limit to these questions. Yeah, by the way. crap. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. All right. Let me think. Um, so this one is actually Dallas based, um, but Peter Wheel. I would have oh, yeah. to say. Oh yeah, Peter Wheel's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, that when you know the, the newer one downtown is really close to here, so I yeah, might, yeah, I might go you there. hit it up, don't you? Yeah, I might I go know. there more than I should. Yeah. That's really good. <laughs> How about favorite outdoor activity in Gaston County, or favorite park, or something like oh, that here? Oh, huge! Yeah, Gaston County is is very very fortunate. We have uh, Crowder's Mountain, so I have to say that's that's definitely one of my faves. I've, it I've really, yeah, it's a, it's a popular answer, but it's a, yeah, yeah. it's a great it's a great spot. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. But Rankin Lake is fantastic mm-hmm. too. That's a nice place to it's go. It's probably for a you know, and it's it's tucked yeah. away. Way in a place where I mean, I'm afraid not very many people know about it, but it's yeah, it's super, yeah. it's super nice. Also, nice one that I've been hitting up lately um, are the trails near Daniel Stowe Botanical Gardens. Okay, yeah. Um, also, a really beautiful spot to go for a run right next to the lake. So, Absolutely, yeah. very good. All right, super important question: UNC Duke or NC State? <laughs> Ah, fun fact. So, you know, I'm remarried. I don't care. I'll put it up there. Yeah, <laughs> so course, my, my older son, you know, his dad is a UNC. So, you know, I was UNC and he, he was UNC forever. And then uh, he got into NC State and, of course, switched gears. So now he's an NC State fan. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so there's that. Um, so that means there's, there's always hope that somebody can turn it around, turn right? Their, turn their right, life around. and it, it's so funny. <laughs> like, and and then you know, I'm I'm remarried, and uh, my my husband was a Duke fan. 
<laughs> he has since converted to NC State as well. We're all NC State That's now, fantastic. so we're you know, but, fantastic. Yeah. And that is the correct answer if you were. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Kathy. What is something very few people know about you? Oh gosh. Um, oh, okay. Oh yeah. This is one I haven't used in a while. Okay. Um, so, th- <laughs> so this was gosh over twenty years ago. But um, I was an extra in Shallow Hell, which was filmed in Charlotte. Oh wow. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow was. Yep. Gwyneth Paltrow and Jack Black. Jack yep. Black. Yes. Yep. Wow. And yeah, I'm about this big in a couple. That, of is that scenes. the one where you had the the <laughs> that was the Tony Robbins interaction or something? Yes. And yes. yes. All uh, of that. I yes. Do remember that. Oh yeah. I do remember oh, yeah. that movie. It was a trip. It was a oh, trip. It was a great experience. So. If somebody's listening out there, is there like a a, a, a time stamp that somebody can say, oh, that's where you are in the movie, like some, some moment, or do oh, you know that? Yeah, yeah, actually, so there's a, a center city moment, and it's when uh, one of the characters, she's a model with beautiful long hair, and, you know, as we know, there's some different views on how people look in the movie, but she she comes out, you see yeah. her as this model, and Jack Black is getting her out of the taxi cab, if I remember correctly, and I am... I am walking in the background. Okay. Yes. And the, cool. in, the interesting fact about that is it was supposed to be summertime and it was wintertime. It was <laughs> freezing cold. So they had us all dressed in like stuff. That summertime. Was summertime. So, so you had to like, you know, pretend that you weren't freezing. That you weren't freezing. Yeah. It was that's definitely, well, you know, putting those acting muscles to work. Acting there. art. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, how about a uh, book or blog or article or just anything that you might recommend to our listeners? Oh, well, you know, we've talked a little bit already, but definitely The Alchemist, um, The Four Agreements for sure. Um, The Artist's Way, also a fantastic book. Um, And, you know, in that book, and the name of the author fails me right now, but um, she talks about how every one of us is an artist in some way, shape, or form. Um, that's why I told you as a podcaster, that's yeah. a form of art too, right? Yeah. But, but truly, you know, every one of us, like, you know, culinary arts, if you're a good cook, right? Sure. I mean, that's considered an art too. So, um, there's an artist that's living inside all of us and, um, she really helps you, you know, celebrate self a little bit and you kind of need to do that, um. Uh, in nursing, and it's slightly, slight. I, I'm gonna hold you for five more seconds with this one. I promise I won't take too long. But um, <laughs> there's a theory, uh, Jean Watson. Uh, it's a course you have to take when you're going through okay. nursing school, and uh, her theory is the theory of caring. Um, she really goes into all this depth and detail of why caring, the concept of caring, is super important as a nurse. Um, but at the core of it, at the core of everything, is that you have to love yourself first. You have to take care of yourself first. You have to fill your cup first in order to be able to overflow and properly care for others. It's hugely important. And in this in this book, The Artist's Way, it's a very similar thing. That you know, okay. we care for so many people in our lives. Even if you're not involved in him, I mean, you care for a, a ton of people and what you do with GSM services. Right. And so you have to you have to fill your cup. Maybe that's through your run, right? Or mm-hmm. you know that there's that thing that recharges your batteries, time alone, you know, reading your favorite book, whatever that is, but that we have to recharge those batteries in order to come back and give fully. Right. So. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You, you can't be good to others and, and, and help others if you're, if you're in, in a position where you're unable to, right. I mean, yeah. so you have to be able to put yourself in those positions. Well, Kathleen, I appreciate you indulging us on those Gaston County and, and some personal related questions. So listen, we've got a few more questions and we'll finish this episode up. Uh, this has been, this has been a lot of fun. So, you know, one thing that we'd like to ask too, is, you know, remember this is a, a podcast about why Gaston County is such a great place. So, you know, you've been, again, you've been here long enough to answer this. Um, so besides the, um, Carolina Street Art Collaborative. You know, why is Gaston County such a great place? Uh, well, it, you know, kindness. Like, that, it's, you know, so my dad, I'm originally from Buffalo, New York. I've been okay. down here since 1999. So it's actually a small town outside of Buffalo, Tonawanda, New York. And uh, my dad, um, sad but true, but, you know, and it ended up being beautiful things. He was um, diagnosed with uh, stage four esophageal cancer. This was back in uh, 2017, I believe. And uh, he came to move here with us, you know, and stay here for care, went, you know, to, to get all his care in the area. And um, he, he was very self-sufficient. So he wanted to go to the grocery store. He wanted to help us out, you know, and do as much as he could because he was staying with us. And so many people would come up to him. He was a tough dude, you know, but he, 
he would like walk around with a cane. So like constantly people would come up to him and sir, can we, can I help you with this? Can I, can I do this, sir? Can I help you do this? And like to the point where one time it brought him to tears because he was so, you know, there is Southern hospitality is a real thing. Yeah. It, it is. And, and he was blown away by the magnitude of that in this space. And, you know, there's other counties, you know, I'm, we travel around, we go to different spaces and, you know, it ebbs and flows depending where you go, you know. But in Gaston County, man, it is strong. Like, people I genuinely yeah. reach out and try to care for each other, which I think is something really beautiful that we should be exceptionally proud of. And um, and I'm happy to live here. Well, I appreciate me. you sharing that, yeah. uh, especially that you know, personal anecdote about that, that kind of shows that. So um, last question, then we'll get back to, to the collaborative. But I, uh, I do say this every single episode. On a, this is my favorite question. So, Kathleen, knowing what you know now, what advice would you give your 20-year-old self? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, man. What was I doing at 20? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, I would say don't give up on your dreams. I, I had some pretty strong dreams, actually. That was when I was in, you know, the, the arts the last time. Um just took me 20 years to get back to it but you know yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I would say don't give up on your dreams uh, you know to, to anyone you know it you know there's a, a, sli- a sliding scale of dreams right <laughs> like it doesn't it doesn't have to be this big gigantic thing you can be in your dreams and live your dreams on a smaller scale but you should never let go of them Right. And it might not be a straight path to get there, too, right? That. Yes, that. Very <laughs> I much I think so. our society yeah. does yeah. think you try to show this straight path, and it's, it's it, you know, we want this straight path, right? But it's more like, you yeah. know, all these, all these uh, detours, and uh, but you can still get there uh, yeah. in, in, in some form. Um, and some I'm sure, I'm sure art, when you were 20, is, it looks a lot different than it Oh, now yeah. uh, than, oh, than, it, yeah. than it did then right very 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 different yeah. All right. so yeah. listen i appreciate that um answer and sharing those la- especially those last couple of questions i appreciate that greatly so again remember the main point here is to bring awareness to uh, the, the organization the work that you are doing so where can our listeners go to learn more get involved contact are there any specific needs that you have um obviously uh there's always financial needs for organizations like yourself, but Ian, share anything and everything that you, you want to share related to that. Uh, well, getting in touch with us, uh, pretty simple. We're uh, cltstreetartcollab.com for our website. Um, on Instagram, we are CLT Street Art Collab. On Facebook, we are CLT Street Art Collab. Our email is CLT Street Art Collab okay. at gmail.com. So uh, definitely, you know, it's consistent. So it's easy, easy to get in touch with us. Um, and, you know, as far as needs are concerned, you know, we're, we're always in need of supplies. We do a lot of art markets and um, definitely you know, having those supplies to be able to, you know, uh, provide those art skills and teach those art skills uh, is certainly helpful. Um and then also, you know, I mean, donations, we're not, we are a yeah, 501c3 absolutely. nonprofit, sure. and that does enable us to be able to pay the artists as they should be for uh, the excellent work that they provide um, and the time that they put in. So that's it. Yeah. So you mentioned um, the event at Cavendish in November, is that correct? Yes. So that's I guess correct. as we get yeah. closer, you're. Yeah. People can go well, onto the social will, media and see that. They will be able to see it, yep. And then we actually have one sooner than that. Um, so in addition to partnering with Alchemy to, you know, paint that mural, you'll be seeing that around about September. We're trying to we're okay. trying to have it ready um, for when they have the next bar crawl downtown, which is, should be, I think, September 21st, if I remember correctly. So, okay. So the aim is to have, you know, to incorporate um, some on-site, you know, art activities during that and then, you know, divert people from the – the crowd to come around and take a look at the new mural. Um, but also um, in, let's see, let me make sure I'm saying it right. I want to say it is the second weekend and, and it, it will be uh, listed on our site, but uh, we've also partnered with Occasions on Main. Um, they're an event venue in okay. downtown um, Gastonia to do figure drawing. Um, figure drawing has not been done in Gaston County for a ridiculous amount of years. Um, and it is one of the biggest tools for artists to learn how to draw the human form. And there's a ton of artists who would love to not have to go to Charlotte to be able to do it. They would love to be able to do it in Gaston right, County. And right. they finally will be able to do that starting in August. So um, we have not put the info out on our site yet. You, okay. can, find, uh, you can find it on uh, Eventbrite. Um, we have a big event coming up this weekend. So after that, next week, we'll be putting it out publicly on our Instagram and Facebook. But 
Uh, but that will be, I believe, the second or third week in August at Occasions on Main. Okay, so yeah, we're recording this. What's today? July eighth. So um, yeah, this will be released before then, before the end of the oh, month. Great. Next two or three okay. weeks, probably or so. We're roughly three weeks behind, I think, on on releasing. So yeah, that's good. So that'll yeah, that that'll it'll be heard. This will be heard before that uh, takes place. So um, Kathleen, again, I appreciate your time. Any last words uh, to share before we close this uh, episode out? Last words. Yeah. Well, it's not really last words, <laughs> but because I'm going because right? I'm going to finish it off. But <laughs> I, I don't know well, why I don't why I call it last words because it's not uh, actually yeah, last words, yeah. is it? Hey, you know what? So I I would say my my final words, if I can have any today, find joy in your day today. <laughs> I hope, you know, whenever whenever and whoever is listening to this, that you find joy in your day in some way, shape or form. Right. You know, celebrate that. Celebrate you. Give yourself a big hug and some love for simply existing and making it through life. You know, that's sometimes, you know, we just need a pat on the back for getting up and doing the thing. And and so celebrate the joy in your life. Oh, well, that's very good. Um, And appreciate that you finishing off with that. And so. Like I do every episode or, or most episodes, I want to finish off with my own. Uh, normally, do a book recommendation or a podcast. So a podcast I recently found is the Dr. Josh Axe, A X E show, which um, I heard him on another podcast as a guest, and then I started following him. But you know, it's it's a health, wellness, just general, both mental. And, and physical health, um, and it, it's really interesting, and uh, I would I encourage you to go check him out. And then my quote and thought for this week, I mentioned earlier that it's going to tie in with kind of something we talked about. I think I'm not a huge social media person, but I do share something every single Monday morning. I also shared the exact same message here within, the, uh, within our company on Monday afternoons, but I think I titled this one. Um, this week's is about um, the journey uh, our our progress as we go on our journey. And, uh, and we talked that almost that exact phrase earlier uh, in, in our discussion today. But James Clear, somebody who I really like, I've shared one of his books as a recommendation um, previously called Atomic Habits. But James Clear said, every action you take is a vote for the person you wish to become. So think about, are we intentional about the actions we're taking you know, every day? And is it going to help us get closer to the person we want to become, or is it going to detract from that? So it's interesting. I know I have some habits that I'm not even aware of that don't really help. It probably takes me away from that person that I that I want to be. So, you know, James Clear, somebody I would also encourage you to check out and maybe follow if you're a big online social media person. He's got some really good stuff um, online that I would encourage you to to check out. Um, so, thanks again to our listeners for taking the time to listen to today's episode. Please continue to spread the word if you can about the podcast. And please don't hesitate to contact us here at our email address, which is podcast at gastonsgreat.com. We're always looking for suggestions for future podcast topics and guests. You can find the podcast and subscribe at the website, gastonsgreat.com, or anywhere you listen to podcasts. And please follow us on all our social media platforms. And as Naomi likes to remind me, please give us a good five-star rating. That helps us get noticed. And thanks again to Kathleen for being our guest today. Gaston's Great is produced and brought to you by Naomi Hunt and Amy Anderson from GSM Services. I'm your host, Stephen Long. Thanks again for hanging out with us, and please keep coming back to hear more reasons why Gaston's Great.